welcome back to the vlog it's been a minute but I wanted to hop on here and I think I'm gonna do a collective vlog because I feel like I've been very MIA extremely busy I have something exciting I am at the black girl digital award show and I'm super excited so they're hosting it in Atlanta so I drove because Atlanta is a few hours away from where I stay so decided to drive and we finally arrived literally just checked in and now we are ready to go in there I'm so excited Excited? Yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you. So you see for tour, uh, just visiting or? Uh, for an event uh, award show so we finally checked in it was actually kind of smooth very fast I love this hotel like I just feel like it's so it's small but it feels so comfortable based on the pictures it didn't look like this but it's actually really nice bathrooms are so important for me I don't know why I just feel like I have to be comfortable about the bathroom and the bathroom is so nice so I'm excited I'm getting ready to go get some lunch because I haven't eaten since morning and it's almost one o'clock we are in Atlanta I'm super excited I'm officially here for the black girl and digital awards and I'm so excited so let's do some makeup I'm kind of nervous I'm not gonna lie this is my first ever award show of course we're starting with some skin prep because I washed my face earlier but that was like five o'clock in the morning now I'm just using a facial pad to clean it and then going in with my holy girl toner by Laneige this before my makeup is literally everything I'm obsessed with this. And then we're gonna start priming the skin. I'm using this Smashbox primer because I used it in my last video and I was so shocked at how amazing it was. I completely forgot how good of a primer this is. My skin has been doing so good lately, but last minute I decided to have a visitor. I was so annoyed, but let's get the skin prep going. I feel like I need to mattify my face. We're going for a soft glam makeup look but a little bit of glow now if you need your makeup to last all day you need this clinique oil free foundation this is honestly the foundation that i always go for if i always want my makeup to last all day because i know it's guaranteed to last at least 12 hours it's also a really good match it's gonna oxidize a few minutes after i apply it but because it's an oil free foundation it doesn't move around my skin gives me more like a soft glam matte finish just look at that finish yo this foundation never disappoints for concealer we're doing the urban decay quickie concealer this is more of a lightweight concealer it doesn't crease under my eyes which i love and we are going for a full coverage makeup look so this is a full coverage concealer okay honestly i really don't know what to expect with this event like i'm nervous but i'm like excited nervous i don't know if that makes sense so when you want your under eye to pop pop you need this powder this is the nars pressed powder in the shade bay it is very pigmented so i like to reduce the pigment and i just use that to set my under eyes this is going to give you that bright under eye without you using too much concealer so your under eye is definitely not going to crease okay this base it's eaten okay like so i'm just going in with a little bit of bronzer just to warm up my skin this bronzer is so pigmented so you have to be very careful of course we can't forget to sculpt the jawline this is already giving soft glam which i love i was afraid it was gonna do like too much but i think it's giving soft natural and sculpted all right, so this is what we're looking like with the glam. I did something light with my eyeshadow because I wanted to keep my eyes open, but we're gonna finish off with a little bit of highlighter for that glow. This is so needed, especially because it's nighttime. This is gonna reflect really well at night. I'm also gonna place some on my nose as well. 
Now for lips, you're doing brown lip liner. And Rare Beauty lip oils have been my favorite because they're so pigmented. And then I always like to clean off my lips just to make sure we get a nice clean. All right, so this look. is the makeup look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wear All right, my so outfit. I'm this already is late, the so makeup look. We're now there I'm gonna time. go ahead and wear my outfit. I'm already late, so hopefully we're there on time. officially heading out i have everything packed last night was so good i honestly didn't expect to win the award for the category that i was nominated for because number one the people who are nominated are so influential in the beauty industry so to even be nominated in that category it was amazing i was nominated for a partnership with walmart and even thinking about being nominated for a category with walmart i go to shop at walmart every single time like since i was young it is like the go-to department store to get everything that you need and i got nominated for a partnership with walmart it's just like i can't think about it but i feel like when i got up there and i had to give my speech i was so nervous i number one i didn't even prepare a speech because i didn't expect to win but yeah i ended up winning and it was exciting now we're heading out everything is packed Ready to go home. It's about to be a couple hours drive, but yeah, I'm gonna need some coffee. So I finally started working on the closet room. I got these shelves installed about two days ago, finally. I got these shelves like a month ago, but it's been taking forever for me to get them installed, but we finally got them done. I'm so excited because I've been dreaming of having these shelves like an area where I can put my clothes and then a space where I can put all my makeup products which is gonna be this right here and I have all these makeup right here that I have to unbox and put up these are all the products that I've gotten in PR so these are not products that I already had and I needed to put in these drawers so it looks like I'll actually need more drawers in my filming room but as of now I'm trying to figure out how much makeup can fit in here and I got started yesterday it went pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. I already got my foundations in here. I don't think this is how I'm gonna organize my foundations. Like, it looks nice and everything, but I feel like I can do a better job. But I think I'm gonna leave my concealers in here. These are not even half of the concealers I have. So it looks like concealer would all have to be in here. And I need more organizers for the concealer section. And then 
these are more like pencils like lip liners color pencils and then I have mascara and then I'm gonna put some more eye makeup stuff here like eyebrow products and eyeliners and so far that's it and then I got my bronzers and contours in here then in here we're gonna put highlighters I actually didn't realize how much highlighters I had but we got a lot we got a lot so it looks like highlighters in here would have to be like the whole thing and just just that only I think those are the only ones that I would have and then I'm gonna put all my blushes in here plan is to get as much done tonight as I possibly can I'm gonna try to at least get the makeup that I've been had and I've been using in here and then I'm gonna start unboxing these probably tomorrow and then I'm gonna start on the closet so like my clothes and everything like that I hate organizing clothes I hate organizing shoes that's just not my cup of tea that is not my what do they call it that's not my area of expertise I like makeup okay I like organizing makeup I can do fragrance and just beauty stuff when it comes to clothes and shoes I'm not the biggest fan so. good morning welcome back to another vlog video so today we're headed to LA Sephora is flying your girl out to LA for a studio shoot I am so excited I haven't been to LA since July and that was really fun but I'm there for five days and yeah like we're doing like a makeup shoot right now my place is a mess because I've been packing but it is five o'clock in the morning. My flight is at nine, so hopefully I don't miss this flight, okay? So I am ready to go. Like I pretty much packed everything, so I'm basically ready to head out. This is the outfit I wore for the airport. It's really cold outside, so I wanted something comfortable and something I can just kind of like lay down in the flight. It's a five hour flight, so I have to make sure I'm comfortable. Good morning! So we are getting ready to go to Sephora Studios for the studio shoot. It's an all day shoot, so from 7.30 to 5 o'clock. I'm so excited. I don't really know exactly how it's gonna go, but I do know the content that I do have to shoot with them. I'm excited, so let's go ahead and head over there right now. How was it? We 
are in day two in LA. So today is the second day of my video shoot. Yesterday went pretty well. Like I felt so comfortable. Everybody was so nice. They made me feel so comfortable. I was just nervous because like there were a lot of people there, more than I was expecting. But everybody was so sweet, so everything went well yesterday, today. I'm not sure the content I'm filming today, they did send like a couple of ideas, but um, I'm excited. You know, I was nervous yesterday, today I'm excited. So let's see how the day goes. That is the one thing, if you guys are filming any content up here, any product, you have to be careful about including. Just gotcha. Because yeah, if it's unreleased, it can't be shown. Oh. Good morning. Welcome back to day three. Today we're visiting my management's office. Pretty much today is going to be quite a long day and I do want to kind of like tour around LA. My camera's about to die so unfortunately I cannot bring my camera but I'll still be vlogging with my phone. All right, guys, so we are back from the meeting. Now I'm on my way to Beverly Hills. Um, last time I was in Beverly Hills was like, I think three or four? No, it was like four years ago. And I just love the area, it looks so nice, so. Yeah, so we're just gonna tour LA before we leave and check out some places. But yeah, this was the outfit. I forgot to show you guys before I headed out, so I just have on these white pants with this corset top. This top is surprisingly really comfortable with just my black bag and some really short heels because we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of walking. That's right, that's right. Thank you, thank you. What do you have on? So I'm not quite sure how they would understand that as a German accent. Do you get me? So apparently they have like one of the best matcha here in Los Angeles. So let's try it out and see. Good morning! 
yeah welcome back to the vlog so today is the last day and i had a great time like i feel like la is so fast-paced it's very fun there are a lot of people who are so friendly and they talk a lot and there's some people who are just kind of like a little weird so let me tell you guys what happened yesterday in the uber so so i was taking an uber to go to hollywood hills to look at a couple of houses and the uber driver was so weird like i don't even know how to explain it but he was just so restless like i was just like what's going on he was talking and talking and talking but the way he was talking wasn't really like making sense like he would say one thing and then he would switch it up and talk about something else and i'm like okay slow down slow down like i'm not trying to talk the whole ride it was a 20 minute drive and we had to go up the hill and on top of that he was trying to take a different route than what the gps was saying i was literally holding my phone to make sure that he's going where i'm supposed to go i was scared i was scared i'm not gonna lie i'm glad he got us there safely when i got out that car i was so happy to get out yeah i just wanted to make sure i got there safely so thank god i got there safely and we checked out this house it was so beautiful like i couldn't even believe like houses in los angeles are like that like it felt like a vacation house even though i know i couldn't afford that house it's just really nice to look at it and just to kind of like tour around to see like you know really nice beautiful mansions and it had a nice infinity pool the lighting was just like ah oh, the sunset is like all throughout the house that's pretty much what we did yesterday and guess what i got sick so I'm feeling a little stuffy. We are heading out right now. We should be arriving in the evening. Uh, we're actually gonna be early because I like to be early at the airport. So we're gonna leave and then get some breakfast um, before we board. So yeah, it was exciting. I'm gonna catch up with you guys once I get back to North Carolina. Hey. 